ready, ladies and gentlemen? All right, my people, my people, my people, how you doing? Oh my goodness, it's your favorite host, Osiris Luizuatu in the building, my people. Today, it's a special night, it's a special setting. We came to the album release, album launch of Ezra Quizera. Ezra Quizera is a great musician, great artist from Rwanda and Uganda and Canada. Can't wait to see what he's cooking tonight. Thank you for being here. What's your name? Uh, my name is Bosco. Bosco. Nice to meet you, Bosco. You look like a footballer, Sergio Mane. Are you related to... He's my cousin. He's my cousin. Like Mane. My, my dad traveled to, to Senegal one time, <laughs> back in the days. And I don't know what happened, but uh, 10 years after Sergio Mane was born, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm uh, I don't know, man. That guy is a superstar. I don't think... Uh, that's that's great. <laughs> Maybe that's your destiny, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish I could move. As I fast wish as you as all as the best, thank bro. You. Go get them. Yeah. All right, my people. Let's talk to this man. I know this guy. He's handsome. He's so funny. He's an entertainer. <laughs> okay. Frank, right? Yeah, Frank Rukund. Rukund. On top of that, <sighs> what's that song that you did on Facebook? That oh. <laughs> well, I, I was just messing around. And I, I, yeah, I was just messing around. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was quite funny. So, yeah. so tell people what you do. What I do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm a singer. I'm an actor. I am. Um, before the gray hair and a little bit of this, I used to be a model. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's it. Nice. And tonight you're the man, you're hosting the show. You know what, Ezra and I will we'll go way back. So when he reached out to me to uh, sort of grace it, I was like, you know what, I'll do, it. I'll do that for you. So I'm super excited to be here and uh, just uh, go crazy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
my people. We are here with a great, talented musician. Please tell people your name. Uh, call me Madiba, Safi Madiba. That's my name. Safi Madiba, I love your music. I'm actually a fan and I'm actually surprised to see you. Are you in Vancouver? Yeah, I live in Vancouver. You live in Vancouver? Yeah, now, yeah. Wow. Made beats on the beats. Imano yanye, nuku gukuna, numuti maose. Amahoro yanye, nuku wawe. How is uh, how is it the transition? You came all the way from Rwanda, right? No, uh, I came from Alberta, so. Uh, like two years ago, I used to live in Alberta, so I moved here in Vancouver. Like, I think one year ago now. Yeah. Wow, nice. So, how is uh, music going? And what are you what are you working on right now? And uh, you're here tonight to support uh, Ezra. How do you know him? Oh, Ezra. Uh, I know Ezra back home like uh, five years ago. So, like Ezra is my friend. So, oh. Um, you know, he's the one who told me to, to move to Vancouver because, like, uh, he, you know, he told me about everything in Vancouver. You know, Vancouver is um, where everything happened in Vancouver, so he told me to move. So he's, a, he's my real friend, so that's why I came here to support. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, what can you tell? Are you dropping a new album? If so, when's the album coming out? Yeah, oh, uh, I'm working on my second album uh, called Livo like life and love uh, and I'm raising him uh, I'm raising it on um, if it doesn't change like around like summer this coming summer in June All right. yeah I raise my new album yeah I can't wait for it man I yeah, love man. your music thank you thank keep you. soaring keep soaring I wish you all thank the best you. thank you thank you I appreciate Yo, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Yo, thank you. Thank yo, you. This is big. Yo. Yo, thank this you. This is the whole stage. I you know. know. I How know. Are you, feeling? How are you, feeling? you know, blessed. Johnny, you know, yeah. like, like the album. Yeah. It's been a long journey. Yeah. yeah. You can love me if you love, you don't love yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So the one of the journeys that we're going to have uh, in this album, as you see, it's called Journey. It's about... I have my own journey as a boy who was born in the Muongo, in the ghetto. Some of you, when you hear about the ghetto, you think of Toronto. You think of the ghetto is here. These are not ghettos. There's no ghettos here. (laughs) 
these girls everywhere. But the pain is different. The fear is different. The girl in, in, in Canada, no one is there to watch your kid. In Africa, the ghetto, people that watch, even in poverty. There's some beauty part, the beautiful part of it. But the reason why I call this album Chip Journey is that I just realized when I moved here, I used to think, oh man, you have a tough story. Until I listened to some stories in Vancouver, stories from kids who have been through foster homes, what they've gone through. I'm like, this is so painful. <coughs> and it's all about the journey. So tonight, everything that we're gonna, you're gonna experience is about the journey. I don't know about your journey. I know about my journey. But all I know, all of us, we have, somewhere, somewhere we've met with trouble, we've met with you know, poverty, we've met uh, pain. We've experienced sickness, right? That's the journey. But how, what do we do through the journey? What are we called to do? We're called to move on, keep on moving. Only journey. Only journey. Journey. Journey, journey. Only journey. Journey. Journey to money. So you took us out of Vancouver, eh? You were I took, I took, we're no. driving here, I'm like, yo, where are we going? See? <laughs> The secret, the secret is to let people know that I'm from Africa, it's too far. So if you can't see me, this is nothing from work. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm yeah. African, I come from so far. Yeah, I had to j jump over the, oh, the ocean, Yeah. you know? Ah, so funny. if you if you do an hour yeah. to come and see me, yeah. that's, what that's a blessing. That's, that's, what that's what's up, yeah. yeah. So your music is so beautiful, so inspiring. Yeah. And I saw at least two videos on your on your website. Yes. The one, the mama one. Yes. Is that your mom? Yeah, that's my mom. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so beautiful. I know it's uh, one of my favorite song on, on the album. Be song, be song for my mama, mama yeah. Esamba kichin ori chin mama Kujira ngume nyishime Lili mumoti mawanje Nukishi wako se kujira ngo Maonu Wabiwe nabi nabeshi Iwu suru mudabi Imbara kaso muti mayu Ziruti sama voko yu Kowi cha ye mudebe ya babili Yari pita magura biri, wai bere mu kwaga tatu. Ichara mo si na irima, ai ai mama. The person who supported you. Yeah, you know, we were like, uh, according to my journey, I and I lost my dad when I was 12. We were seven kids. My mom raised us, an educated woman, no school, nothing. And she was able to never got remarried and she hustled. So she's my inspiration. Mama, I love you so much. Mama, I love you so much, so much. Oh, my, oh, yeah. Bless 
sendo mãe, pirito lá da senta, eu a falta mamã, eu a quinta pronta me sinta, foque matou me mamã, ai tu 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 so in the song in the song I kind of say she was a third she was a, a third leg on a two on a two leg chair so that when I sit on it I don't fall down wow that's one of the lines that is so beautiful that yeah. is so beautiful yeah. so she must be so proud of you right yeah, now yes she is are you living your dream no, I'm, it's, it's a journey, mm -hmm. like the album, so I can see now, you know, uh, I can see this hop. ultimate dream my ultimate dream it's I uh, will be do what I'm called to do with which I don't know <laughs> I think it's music <laughs> and, and it's, it's music but uh, you know like you know what why am I here you know I know for sure that I'm, I'm here to love I'm here to spread the love I'm here to uh, be a blessing you know, most of the time we think of, oh, we, I need you to bless me, but your mission as me, I'm here to bless and I'm here to love. So that's, that would be my dream wow. coming true. Beautiful. If I can love people and they can feel it, the way they feel it, you know, that's my dream. Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. And we have the one and only, my brother from a different mother, is it mother or father? Mother. Mother, mother yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brad Thyssen. Brad Thyssen. Yeah. He's my producer. He produced the album, The Journey. The album, the album, the album. So come on. Come on, people. Brad Thyssen. In this case, they won't, they won't look like, ah, we don't feel it at the address, so you know, make them feel most especially that one. <laughs> then, my brother from a different father, <laughs> I don't know if he's a different uncle too, but Etienne Mangala from, all the way from Kenya. <laughs> hmm. This guy. He used to have a name a long time ago, but now we call him Mr. Majoni because he's newly married. <laughs> but his original name, stage name is Knowledge. <laughs> I think I have to go uh, front to come again and then we start the show nicely so that you have to begin to give up instructions. Eh? We're filming this, so you have to. Energy, we need the energy. Woo! Just freak it. <laughs> Knowledge, my journey! Awesome, awesome. We'll be there, we'll be there. trying to open up uh, the same setup like this that's why I'm partnering with uh, Hubcast Media and they're gonna help me uh, go help Narod to open up a, a setup like this 
for young people, videographers, editors, uh, journalists to have a place to go for training. Wow. Yeah, in Rwanda. Yo, you're hooking people up. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. People yeah up. We, you know, this is what people need. Yeah, you need, we need, we need, we need, jobs, right? we need a channel of uh, you and I oh. in Rwanda. You know, with not a rod. Yeah. Yeah, you know. No, we had spoken to you earlier. Mm -hmm. But this is so amazing. So you're going to do a painting live here. We're going to see it live. Yes. How, how long have you been uh, doing this? I've been doing it for so long, about maybe 15 years right now. Yeah, so I do tend to do like live paintings sometimes and I enjoy doing it. So I'm happy to be a part of uh, Isla's show. Oh my god, yeah. I can't wait to see the final product. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay, let, let, let me let you work. <laughs> People, we are here with Ezra's family. <laughs> sure, yeah. Everybody. We're friends, you know, family. Friends and, and family, everyone. How exactly. are you guys enjoying the show? It's really amazing. He's an amazing performer and amazing singer. You know, he put up the show and we brought a dance soon. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. I loved it. I was <laughs> dancing when he, when he brought in the, you know, the Domboro kind of music. <laughs> ah, African like, music. Yeah. Yeah, mixture yeah. of African music, yeah, totally, totally. different countries, yeah. different languages, Absolutely. Uganda, Rwanda, mm -hmm. Swahili, mm -hmm. English. I love like, it. Yo, his mom must be there. so proud, eh? Yeah. Imagine like your mom and then your son is singing about you. That song, Mama? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, totally. We, we have a really good friend this time. Yeah. Have you talked about him too? Uh, yo, I've talked about him. I yes. love it. I love it. I'm so impressed. He's among the best paintists in Vancouver. And the way he started that uh, painting from scratch? Yes, right now and best painting just like in few hours like he's done. <laughs> yeah. Few minutes to an hour. Great painting. <laughs> so tell mm -hmm. me for your name in case this lady oh, yeah. asks me who's that handsome um, guy. I can uh, <laughs> tell them their names. <laughs> I'm Sarge, I'm just a friend and family with them. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you so much. My people, this man, I'm so impressed by your work. I'm so Thank grateful you. that you're doing what you're doing. It's so inspiring. <laughs> uh, my name is Peter Young. Peter Young, and you're so young. Whatever you're doing is keeping you so young. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Actually, uh, um, building something like this is, is not easy, and it's uh, it takes a community. It takes it, it, it takes so many people and so many. Uh, um, beliefs and people just wanting to share and support. Um, we're really excited about what we're doing here with, with Ezra and, and what we've done with other artists. Um, as I say, Hubcast is here to create community through content. Uh, and you start it in a space like this, intimate and small. Uh, and I think if, if more people had storytelling places like this, more stories would be told and more understanding would happen. And in fact, who knows what that could lead to. Absolutely, and it's such a beautiful culture, you know, like humanity has mm -hmm. been doing this forever, sitting around the fire, telling stories, listening to yes. great music. Yes, absolutely. In fact, you know, I, I've been uh, honored to, to spend a lot of time in Africa, specifically in Uganda, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to going back. I have to go to Ghana this year. We have a project over there, and of course, Rwanda uh, with, uh, with Ezra. So, um, again, our, our whole goal is to create infrastructure so people can tell their stories. And uh, we have amazing supporting people around us.
Levi. I'm John. John. Okay, these are the handsome sons of Ezra, right? Yeah. Beautiful. So how do you feel about your dad being a superstar? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> is he always like, is it loud in the house because he's repeating and doing Yeah, music? a lot. I can hear his studio from my room sometimes, so. In the middle so, of the night, you just yeah. hear his, his music. <laughs> Are you guys, like, what are you guys interested in? Are you interested in music as well? Uh, I play like, basketball. Yeah, same. Okay. It, it, are you ever going to do music? Well, well, I also play the drums. Yeah, same. Yeah, nice. and I used to play in his shows. Nice. So what's your dream? What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, being in the NBA. Oh? <laughs> A lawyer. What? A lawyer. A lawyer. <laughs> okay, you're going to be his lawyer while he's in the NBA. You're going to get him all the best deals, right? All right, my people, we are here with the man who started with Ezra. He knows Ezra since he started music. Please tell people your name. My name is Aaron Nitonga. Aaron Nitonga, thank you so much. You're you welcome. so talented. When you first uh, met Ezra, did you think that he would come this far? Yes, definitely. I, I, I just couldn't figure out the way. The only thing I knew he could, he could do was work hard, and eventually he would get there, and here he is. Yeah. yeah. So amazing. It is. It is so amazing. So, what is? Uh, are you doing what you always wanted to do? Is this your dream? Yes, this is my dream. Yes, music has always been the thing for me. Yeah, and I'm doing what I've always dreamed to do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. How is Canada treating you? Canada, well, you know, there's ups and downs everywhere. But we got more opportunities than we could have back home. Mm -hmm. So Canada is treating us right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. You're I very welcome. Your time. Yeah, thank the you. show is amazing. I'm loving it. Yo, let me get off the stage so you guys can continue. That's a reward for us. Is people loving what we're doing? Yeah. That's the reward I we need to it. get. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> I was born in Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents were refugees from Rwanda. They left in '59. So became uh, uh, we moved to Rwanda after the genocide because being in Rwanda, it, I mean, being in Uganda, it was a kind of a shame because our parents were refugees. So like, oh, can you Rwanda? So going back home, I was like, oh, yeah, now I'm home. Yeah, let me hear you. Know, so I hear you. that was in '95. Then after '95, moved back. You know, I've been in Rwanda, like. Everything is, I want, my dream is Rwanda. My retirement, Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven on earth, Rwanda. <laughs> and this song, it's a song that I wrote. It's a song about the three civil wars I went through in Uganda. But particularly this, uh, this war in, in 1986 when seven was taking over. As a kid, 96 how old was I? You wanna don't answer the question. Yeah, I won't say how old I was, but I was young. <laughs> you know, coming from school, five kilometers away from my house, 
the war started and it started on the side of my home. So I had to run the other way. And the only thing I could cry for was my mom. I was like, where's my mom? And hundreds and thousands of kids that died that day, I survived. Not because I was special. I, I jumped over dead bodies. I saw mothers dying, I saw kids dying. And all I wanted was to see my mom. I couldn't write these songs. It was hard to write, so I had to invite my brother Ivan and Lucy to help me write the song. That's the, true. The, the green beauty, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. did the song. You did a song uh, thanking Imana. Yeah. Mm. Imana in Kinyarwanda. In Kinyarwanda. The God. supreme being. Yeah. But in Uganda, you mean something else. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want comment on. I want comment on that. <laughs> That's an that's an inside joke of Ugandans. <laughs> Ugandans. Ugandans when so they go and they go to. Up in, in Uganda. Yeah. You guys have that. As, oh yeah. As an oh yeah, man. It's, it, it, that's how it, it was an insult. Because of me, you're like, because it's you know like Imana. It's you know it's God. In Uganda, it means a, a woman's yeah. private parts. Yeah. So when you say like a, a song like there's an a, an old English song. Uh, God is good, our God is good, our God is good, he's so good to me. Imana Ninziza, Imana Ninziza. So, Baganda, the black. Hey, these guys are saying uh, a woman's uh, <laughs> thing is so good <laughs> in a church. <laughs> I don't know why you brought that Imana in the conversation. <laughs> okay. It's a beautiful song, by the way. I love it. I love what you did with it because it's a classic song, but you remixed it in a very original way yeah. that you've owned it now. Yeah, the Urupundo Rimana, the love of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
you know, and and, uh, you know, and with that song, the, the reason the reason why I love it is that it it really promotes about like how blacks or white, different colors, different people, different poor, uh, rich. It's only love, you know, and God is love. And if you want to experience God, just love. Absolutely. And that's like me loving you. That's me bring God to you. You loving me. Yo, is you. I love your music. This is why we came all the way here oh, tonight. Man. I really appreciate you and I. That's why. I, that's why. I, but I've been watching. I've been watching you guys doing stuff. That's how. That's why I was like, oh, I have your number. Should. Thank you, know? you for inviting yeah. us. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you for inviting us. We wish you a great show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Heal it. Yeah. Have all the best time. I wish you all the best in all your projects. Thank you so much. Imana be with you. Amen. So let's end something. Say something in Kenya, Rwanda, or Uganda to end. You and I, Iman, Ibane Namge, Iman, Irabakunda. God loves you. Peace. Amahoro Imana. Thank you, thank you, my people. Yeah, to the Kunga. Evan, I'm going to get it. 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 I'm Oh, this is an artistic night. I'm so happy and I'm so proud to have been part of it. I'm so grateful. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. <laughs> Tell me how you